In affinity photo, there's a number of ways to cut a shape in half. Now you could use geometry and just slice it, modify it that way, or you could use various other options for the actual shape itself. But what you can also do, masks. So let's just go over here and you can select any of them. I'm gonna go with the donut tool, so donut. Now, of course, with this, I can actually modify it and make it half anyway because of the tools here. But what you can also do is go here to Rectangular Marquee Tool. Select that and just drag across it. Now, you don't have to be exact, so you could maybe create a selection like that. Perfectly reasonable. Go to Layers and then go down the bottom here. Just go to Mask Layer. So just click and then you cut it in half. Obviously, in this case, it's not exact. So select and deselect. What you can then do is go to the Move tool. So with the Move tool selected, make sure you select the shape. So just go up here to the donut, and along the end, you might find it's cut off. You can see these little arrows here. Click there, and there's an option for lock children. So click that, and now what you can do with that donut shape selected, you can just drag it. So you can actually position it really nicely so it's actually cut in half. Still live. So you can always change it and decide I have that much of it or not. Something you can't actually do with the donut tool itself. So there, it's half. And once you've done that, always go back, click and make certain you can't see the, obviously lock children, turn it off. And now when you move it, you'll move it around. You can still see the shape, the full shape, but you've only got half of it there. And now if you go down the bottom here, of say effects, click there, and you can go to outer shadow. So let's just add a quick outer shadow and now intensity and close. And you can see you've got half of that. It actually respects that mask. And you can do this with other ones. Just go here, again, lip tool, another shape you can always, of course, cut in half by geometry, etc. But again, just select this, rectangular marquee tool, select that and drag over there, approximately half. Again, go down here to the mask layer, Cuts it in half, select and deselect, and again, you can move it around, reposition it if you want, but you can simply, then with the Move tool, just move it like that and reposition it. Again, click Effects at the bottom, maybe go for 3D. Again, it will reflect that mask, and you can see it's just cut there in half. Now, you can also do the same with text. So, Text tool, Artistic Text tool, just select, create some text, and then with that, just drag out like that, and now, again, select that and just go down there and you can cut it, maybe cut it one letter out or maybe others as well. Again, mask tool, click there and you can see that's all gone. And of course, expand that out, goes there. You might decide, let's select, deselect, always remember to do that. With that, you can then go with the mask selected, that's the key thing, layer and invert. And you can see then, instead of the T, you get the EXT. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Also, a thumbs up, always appreciated. Please subscribe to the channel, always adding new tutorials all the time. Bye.